feature that is often overlooked in PhotoSketcher is the ability for users to replace the default brush with ones of your own. This can create unique artwork with very different media styles. In PhotoSketcher 3.50, Paint 4, Paint 7, Paint 8, and Paint 10 are all effects that can utilize custom brushes. However, to utilize these, the brush must have the following characteristics. They must first be transparent PNG files. This means that the background on all the brush strokes is totally transparent. Any residual right around the edges will become black outlines when the brush is used. Some programs, such as Adobe Photoshop and ArtRage, can make these. Also, the size must be between about 250 pixels and 450 pixels, and ideally show minimal transparent space. Here are some examples of some transparent PNG brush files. The question that a lot of people ask is, where can I get these custom brushes? Well, first there is the hard way. If you have Adobe Photoshop or ArtRage or even GIMP or other programs that allow you to draw on a transparent background, you can create them yourself. Ideally, you'll want to use some type of digital stylus to draw with and then save them as transparent PNG file types. Next, there's the easy way. There are numerous sources on the web where you can download or capture them. Simply Google transparent brush strokes or PNG brush strokes and you'll find quite a few there. Here is one such site where you can download pre-made PNG transparent brush files. A third way is to convert the built-in thumbnails of Adobe Photoshop ABR brush files. If you're not familiar with Photoshop, ABR brush files are vector-based brush templates that can be used in Adobe Photoshop to draw or paint with. You can easily obtain them at little or no cost from a variety of sources on the web. The best part about these is they're usually much better than the ones that you can create by yourself and you can use both the PNG thumbnails for PhotoSketcher and then the ABR files for drawing in either Photoshop or Corel Painter. This is one of the many sources where you can download pre-made ABR brush files. They charge either a monthly fee or a one-time fee to use their service, but they have a huge collection of both brushes and other materials for use. To do this, you will need a utility called ABR Converter. This allows you to open ABR files and then convert all the brush template thumbnails into PNG files. Since these files are often large, you will then need to resize them. This can easily be done as an automated action in Adobe Photoshop. I'm now going to open up ABR File Convert and select the ABR brush file. Once the thumbnails are built, I'm going to go ahead and select all of them and then export them as PNGs to the file of my choice and you can see it immediately builds the PNG thumbnails into a separate folder. Once I have converted the ABR files into PNG thumbnails, the file sizes are generally pretty large, so I need to resize them to between 200 pixels and 400 pixels. You can do them individually, but the best way to do this is using a Photoshop automated process and an action. I now have a number of very large files that I've saved into a file called Full.
I'm now going to open up Photoshop and I previously created an action which basically tells it to resize and then save it and then I'm going to run it as an automated uh, process and here's the dialog box I'm telling it which files and then where to save it to and which command action to use hit OK and then it runs through each of the files in the folder and resizes them As I mentioned before, there are four paint effects that utilize custom brushes. Paint 4, Paint 7, Paint 8, and Paint 10. And here are some tips on how custom brushes work. For one thing, the darker, more opaque the brush image file, the denser and more opaque the drawing. Lighter image files will produce more transparent brush strokes. Also, the more space around the brush file, the more white space in the drawing. And also, you will get very different results using the same custom brush with different paint effects. I'm starting out our custom brush discussion by showing using just the default brush. And as you can see, we're just picking the default brush and it shows a little thumbnail. And as we start to draw, you'll notice that it'll start to lay down brush strokes in different sizes, and rotation and different colors. Next, I'm going to select a custom brush from my custom brush file and choose one that has more of a pastel look to it. As we start to draw, you'll see that the brush strokes are starting to lay down in different sizes, shapes, colors, and rotations, but utilize the same brush throughout. You can see from the drawing that it produces a very grainy pastel look. Next, Utilizing the same custom brush, I'm going to choose Paint Effect 7 and complete the drawing with this custom brush. You'll notice that this drawing uses multiple different brush strokes. Some of them are the default ones. Here is the completed drawing using a paint effect 7 and the same custom brush that we used in paint effect 4. Next, I'll switch to paint effect 8 and we'll utilize the same custom pastel brush that we used in the previous drawings and go ahead and start that drawing. This works slightly different in that it actually seems to lay down layers.
Finally, I'll switch to Paint Effect 10, and again, utilizing the same custom brush, we'll start this drawing. Next, I'll select a lighter, much more transparent brush as my custom brush. And as you can see, the brush strokes are much more transparent and much lighter. Finally, I'll select a darker, much more opaque brush for my drawing. Finally, one way to get more details into the drawing is to use the Merge File function. This operation will merge both the original and the completed drawing together into one final image. Before I end this tutorial, I want to give a huge plug to its creator and urge all of you to contribute to him or better yet to become a monthly patron. Not only does he continue to improve this incredible program, but he still makes it free to users. Currently it's still a Windows only program, but he's working on a Mac OS version that hopefully will be available soon.